Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. The United States suddenly announced a ban on high-end chip technology against China. This is undoubtedly a killer move, which has caused an uproar in the global technology community. On the chip battlefield, the confrontation between China and the United States has intensified. The United States is trying to curb the rapid momentum of China's technology, and China is not to be outdone. It announced that it will no longer use chips made in the United States. The back and forth between the two sides is like a war without gunpowder. This conflict point has suddenly ignited the attention of the global technology circle. The scope and intensity of this wave of bans in the United States are simply jaw-dropping. Industry giants such as NVIDIA, Intel, and Qualcomm are all included in the ban. The intention of the United States is obvious, that is, to limit the pace of its technological development by blocking China's throat. This all-out attack approach is not only to start in the chip field, but also to block from basic technology to high-end applications. Why does the United States do this? It's simple, afraid of losing. China's rapid development in emerging technology fields such as 5G and artificial intelligence has made the United States feel unprecedented pressure. As the global technology hegemon, the United States certainly does not want to see a strong competitor rise before its eyes. Therefore, technological blockade became their choice. However, can this choice really be fulfilled? I am afraid it is not that simple. Facing the technological restrictions of the United States, China's attitude is very clear, independent research and development never back down. China announced that it would no longer use American-made chips. This is not only a tough response, but also a manifestation of self-confidence. After all, it is better to rely on yourself than on others. China has long started to lay out on the road of self-reliance and self-improvement in science and technology. From the global leading 5G technology to the innovative application of artificial intelligence, China's scientific and technological strength is obvious to all. And this chip blockade has further stimulated China's determination to accelerate independent research and development. Mountains and rivers are so dense that there seems to be no way out, but there is another village with willows and flowers. Perhaps, it is under this oppression that China's scientific and technological innovation can usher in a new outbreak. As the saying goes, forced to Liang Shan, China's science and technology companies and scientific research institutions have already started a new journey in this battle with no retreat. In fact, Behind this chip confrontation is the battle for global scientific and technological leadership. The United States and China, as the two largest economies in the world today, have long been competing in the field of science and technology, which is not just a matter between the two countries, but has affected the nerves of the world. The US ban is undoubtedly an attempt to reshape the global science and technology landscape and take more technological advantages into its own hands. China's tough response is to declare that it is unwilling to succumb to pressure from other countries and vow to occupy a place on the global science and technology stage. This game brings not only a contest at the technical level, but also a confrontation of national will. Whoever wins this game will occupy a more advantageous position in the future global science and technology landscape. The impact of the US ban on the global chip market is undoubtedly far-reaching. First of all, 
the stability of the global chip supply chain has been impacted. As one of the world's largest chip demand markets, China will have a chain reaction on the entire supply chain once it cuts off its technical ties with the United States. Not only that, the US ban has also forced other countries and regions to rethink their chip supply strategies. Europe, Japan, South Korea and other major chip manufacturing countries have begun to adjust their market layout to cope with possible risks. This reshuffle process may bring new opportunities and challenges to the global chip market. China's decision to ban the use of American chips has shocked the global market. Many international companies have to reevaluate their supply chains and look for new partners. This change will have a profound impact on the global technology industry chain. In the face of this technology war, global companies and scientific research institutions are also actively adjusting their strategies. The first is the response to supply chain risks. Many companies have begun to strengthen the diversification of supply chains to reduce their dependence on a single market. The second is the combination of basic research and practical applications. Only by making breakthroughs in basic research can we have more autonomy at the application level. Scientific and technological self-reliance is not only a matter at the national level, but also a common responsibility of companies and scientific research institutions. Only through continuous innovation and progress can we be invincible in this global science and technology competition. Science and technology are the common wealth and pursuit of all mankind. In this Sino-US technology war, China sees not only competition, but also the necessity of cooperation. Only through cooperation can we promote the sustainable development of science and technology and make science and technology a powerful engine for global development and progress. In the game of science and technology, there are no eternal opponents, only eternal interests and common goals. Let China work hand in hand to create a better future together. In this way, China is not only facing challenges, but also welcoming opportunities. In this Sino-US technology war, China sees not only conflict, but also the hope of cooperation. Only through cooperation can China write a new legend on the global technology stage.